Hey everybody, Miss Teacher here. We're taking a look at question number eight. A triangle has an area of 64 square feet. The base and the height are cut in half. What is the area of the triangle now? Now there's two ways we can approach this. One way is we can think of some hypothetical values of the base and the height that would end up equaling 64. That's probably the hard way to do it. The easy way to do it is to apply what we learned when we studied lesson 10.8. Now, if we're taking the dimensions and we're cutting them in half, if we square that, why do we have to square it? Because area is two-dimensional. If we just did one um, dimension in half and not the other, then you could get away with it. But since we're doing it to both dimensions, we have to square it. So if we square half, that equals one-fourth. Now, since the area was 64, that means that the new area would be one-fourth that. Why? Because a half squared is one-fourth. So really all you have to do is find one-fourth of 64, which is the same thing, by the way, is doing 64 divided by 4. So if you're using a calculator, you can just go ahead and do that computation. Now, if this all doesn't make sense to you, what I have here on the left, then let's look at our hypothetical base and height for a triangle that would end up having an area of 64. So uh, you need two numbers here that would multiply out to give you 128. Why? Because half of, a, half of 128 is 64. So you can pick any two values you want that would multiply together, in other words, factors of 128. So I'm choosing 32 and 4 as my hypothetical values because that would be an area for, if we were to apply this to the area formula of a triangle, we would get 64. Now if we take half of 32, we'd get 16. And if we take half of 4, we would get 2. So that means the new dimensions of the smaller triangle would be 16 and 2. And if we were to go ahead and find half of 16, which is 8, and 8 times 2, that would give us 16. Now just double check to make sure that that's the same thing you got when you did 64 divided by 4. And if it is, then I think you can go ahead and safely choose choice C as your final answer.